Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Good morning, York. These are your YTV daily announcements for February 26, 2016. I'm Katie. And I'm Eva. Girls' soccer trials will begin on Monday, February 29th. All levels meet promptly at 6 p.m. outside the field house. Please bring running shoes and indoor soccer shoes. All paperwork must be submitted to the athletic office ahead of time to participate in tryouts. Spread the Word to End the Word is an effort to raise consciousness in society of the dehumanizing and hurtful effects of the word retarded and encourage people to pledge to stop using the R word. March 3rd is Stop the R Word Day. On the 3rd, take the pledge to stop using the word by signing the pledge in the comments during your lunch period. Looking for somewhere to present your visual artwork, poetry, or short stories? Try submitting to York's Literary and Fine Arts Magazine. The Mirrors Magazine submission drive, found on thisisyork.org, is open from now until the end of February. Questions? See Ms. Shackleton in room A337 or come to one of our one Monday meetings. Did you know that poverty limits access to education? Globally, 771 million people lack basic literacy skills, and two-thirds of them are women. The York Social Studies Department will be hosting a fundraiser to combat world poverty today from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Elmhurst Potbellies on St. Charles Road. Please stop by for a meal after school or after your athletic practice, and 25% of your purchase will be given to Oxfam, an international organization that combats poverty, hunger, and injustice. Did you perform during Fine Arts Week? Consider an encore performance. But did you miss your opportunity? Well, here's your chance. Come out to Java Live Open Mic Night as we wrap up Fine Arts Week tonight in the Commons. Sign up to perform at the door or sit back, relax, and enjoy performances from York musicians from 6.30 to 9. The cost is $4 at the door. Coffee, donuts, and snacks will also be sold. Don't forget to buy a $10 Annie Laguerre t-shirt in the bookstore. All proceeds go to the Annie Laguerre Foundation. There's an old saying that being perfectly well-dressed give gives one a tranquility that nothing else can bestow. Please come witness some incredible formal wear and other events at the Mr. Duke competition tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Six York men will be competing for a free prom ticket and Miss Miss parking spot. There will be a $1 entrance donation to YSET, and audience members will be asked to vote for the winner after witnessing the extraordinary talents of these six men. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime experience. If you're applying for medical careers for next year, your application is due to the guidance office by the end of the day on Monday, February 29th. Your signed application, your letter of recommendation, and your essay all need to be submitted together. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Van Hook. Today is Black History Month trivia question. This woman escaped slavery as a young mother and went on to fight tirelessly for the rights of African Americans and women in the United States. She served as a union recruiter during the Civil War and was also the first African American woman to have a statue unveiled in her honor at the U.S. Capitol. Who is she? Sojourner Truth. Miss Truth was included in the Smithsonian list of the 100 most significant Americans of all time, and her memory is celebrated during both Black History Month and Women's History Month. Softball tryouts begin Monday, February 29th, and will run from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. Please make sure you have a physical on file and are registered to try out before tryouts begin. Registration can be done through the Athletics website. See Coach Nolan in the math office or Coach Munn in the PE office if you have any questions. The French Club will be meeting on Thursday, March 3rd, right after school in A221. Join us for some snacks and refreshments. Aviento. And those have been your YTV daily announcements for Friday, February 26, 2016. I'm Eva. And I'm Katie. Have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend.